We won't put you in bagel range, though. Bagel. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I love the name Biggle. Me too! I think Biggle's such a fun name. It's like the only thing that Gaiden did that was not horrible and unworthwhile. This is so sad. I'm a certified Gaiden hater. I guess your audience probably is unhappy with me for that because I know you're a Gaiden enjoyer. And so you probably attract the same sort of degenerate scum. To enjoy a different video game than me, which is obviously the worst sin that one can imagine. I don't know, Gaiden didn't pull a whole lot of views. <laughs> oh no, I'm so sorry. I appreciate I appreciate the people who did watch though. I had a lot of fun doing it, and that's what matters. That's how I feel about like my various unpopular playthroughs. Um, I think my least popular playthrough, I did a Mario Party 3 permadeath run. Um, How do you die and that Mario got like three? That got like ten views. Uh, there's a story mode, and so if you ever lose in the story, you, you lose. I did not. It know was that. like the thing is, I the mistake that I made is I called it Mario Party Iron Man because of Fire Emblem, but what I should have done is call it Mario Party Nuzlocke. Because if oh, you label yeah. any challenge run in Nuzlocke, the algorithm's just like, holy shit, Nuzlocke? Let's show this to everyone. Yeah, um, everyone likes Nuzlocke's. And, like, I'm I'm not going to hate on any creator who's done that because, like, it's the same thing as, like, using the thumbnails that get people to click on it. You want people to view your stuff, so you want to make it in, this, in a way that the algorithm, like, presents it well and whatnot. Um, Rip Garcia. 40 experience. That's what he was worth. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll be honest. I think the boots were doing most of the heavy lifting there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I knew Gaiden wasn't going to get views. I didn't do it for like, oh, this content's going to explode and everyone will know who I am. I just what did it because I was like, I like Gaiden, and no one does playthroughs of Gaiden. So, like, might as well be, like, one of the two people that does it. Uh, how do I want to handle I this? I eventually... The thing is that, like, I don't like Gaiden. I feel like I eventually have to zero growths it, because I want to zero growths every game in the series. And, like, I've already... I haven't uploaded it yet. It's probably getting uploaded later this year. But I've already done FE1 Zero Growths, which is a game that has, like, issues very similar to Gaiden. Um, like, in some ways different, but in many ways similar, in that, like, the biggest problem, regardless of what you think about the map design of either Shadow Dragon or Gaiden, um, the biggest problem that those games have are the fact that they're on the fucking NES. Uh-huh. Like, I do have issues with the map design, actually, of both of those games. Um, but I think the biggest issue is just... Playing NES Emblem is just so... I mean, as someone who enjoys playing Gaiden, I play it on, like, double speed most of the time. Yeah. It's... It can be rough to get through. Not only is it slow, but just the menus themselves. Like, if I could just play the whole game at double speed, that's one thing. But you have so many, like, minute movements you need to make for, like, oh, scroll down one to select this weapon. And you can't just, like, do all that at double speed. Yeah. No, menuing and speed up is, like... Have you ever watched any of those people do, like, Pokemon solos, like J-Rose and, and uh, oh, yeah, Scott yeah, yeah, yeah. and stuff? Um, they always do it at, like, four times speed and whatnot, and I just think it's so impressive like how few slip ups there are in the menuing and the walking mm -hmm. it is funny because you'll see them trying to walk through like a narrow hallway or a narrow ledge or something and then oops accidentally jump off now you have to go walk another circle around <laughs> so all these have like two more turns after they start those have two more turns after they start I do think I need to go ahead and start cooking, though. Start scrambling those eggs. Yeah, because, you know, E-Frame needs more levels. 
I mean, he did. He is still gaining stats. The e the eggs always giving fifty exp is kind of a fun mechanic. I really like. Was it you or someone else who was telling me that like when you were a kid you used to let them hatch because you assumed that they would give more experience hatch? That was me. Yeah. That was you. I was afraid that no, oh, I didn't know the because I didn't know how exp counts worked or whatever. So. Mm -hmm. I just assumed killing the monster themselves, because, you know, the monster's harder. Like, the harder stuff should give more experience, right? You would think, although I could make the counterpoint that it is harder to get to the egg before it hatches than to just, like, go very slowly and let them hatch willy-nilly. Yeah, the much like... Which is probably the logic that much, they use. It's, it's kind of like a thief opening a chest, but instead of stealing gold, they're stealing experience that you could be getting. Oh my god, that's what the experienced thieves are! <laughs> These Gorgons are experienced thieves. <laughs> good job, Inez. <laughs> Such a good unit. God, I wish Inez was just in, like, another game. I mean, Inez? I feel like, okay, this comparison's probably gonna not make sense initially. I'm but listening. he feels kind of like Path of Radiant Stefan. In that they took a unit, they gave him very good stats, very good weapon ranks, let him join at a time where most people aren't going to have those stats and weapon ranks, and they were like, in exchange, you are in the worst class in the game. <laughs> and like, for both of those units, I think Stefan gets off better than Inez, but I also don't think Stefan is very good. Um... But for both of those units, that's like a really interesting unit design that's kind of like lost. Now that we're in infinite reclass up Because now anyone can just be anything. Yeah, and like, I feel like they tried to do that with Kagetsu. Not the weapon ranks thing because of how Engage works, but like, <laughs> he has really good personal stats and starts out in a really bad class, but then it's just like, make him a paladin and then make him a wyvern. Triple or is that. Or make him a warrior, or make him whatever. I said Paladin and then Wyvern because I was thinking, like, if you don't have the DLC, you have to reclass him into something that only uses swords and bows, so you can yeah. get, like, Paladin or Bow Knight or whatever. Or Sniper Kigetsu. Woo! Do a crit. Engage Swordmaster makes me so sad. But they get run through, which is, like, the best skill in the game. <laughs> yeah... Run through is one of like 17 skills in engage that feels like you oh. look at Oh! She got a 5%! She got a, stat. she got a stat! She rolled the 5%! Wait, is it 5% or did you give her Aphis drops? Oh, I think I gave her Aphis drops. I think it's 10. It's 10% now because you doubled her growth rate. That's right, we doubled her growth. Stonks. But yeah, there's a ton of skills in engage that like I looked at and I was like, some category of LTC is gonna use that and it's gonna be super cool. And then... Um, and then just, it turns out the emblem skills are so broken that no category of LTC needs them. I felt that way about uh, Clear the Way. I was like, surely Clear the Way is gonna have the one where it's like adjacent allies and mm -hmm. the current tile count is like one terrain or something. Uh, like neutral terrain. I was like, oh, Clear the Way is gonna be so cool for fast play. Like they're gonna do so yeah. many cool skips over terrain. And I've... I've never seen anyone outside of me talk about this skill. <laughs> well, I think the problem is there's just not a lot of meaningful terrain in Engage. Yeah. Um, it's kind of like, okay, so not, it's not to the extreme that Awakening is, but many of the maps, it feels like, I guess the big one would be the beach map because there is a lot of like, that's the map where I got the most out of it, because I think I had yeah. Alir and Chloe as Griffins with Clear the Way, and oh, it was so nice just being able to run through the water tiles at one movement cost. You know what skill makes me incredibly sad? Oh, which one? Air Raid. Oh, yeah. Because it... there are, like, almost no Flyer exclusive tiles. Outside of, like, the Emblem maps. And then, like, where there are flyer exclusive tiles, you're usually fighting only other flyers. Like, you can use it on endgame to fight flyers, but then you don't actually use it because the. Like, it has to be 
that they can't stand on it, right? So, like, it doesn't work against flyers. Yeah, it's something like when using... Uh, how do I do this, actually? Uh, I kind of don't want to eat this, so we're going to garm you. You want to eat your eggs? Uh, this does not look like an egg. <laughs> <laughs> it came from an egg. It's egg yolk. True. Uh, we might be warping Amelia to go deal with this. But you gave her the boots. We're just gonna we're just gonna give her a little boost. Is this the turn where they hatch? Because like she fucking dies if any of them hatch. Oh no, we They're still have spots, we still have like a turn before they hatch. Okay. We have a little bit of time. God, I wish I had a two range sword so bad. A teensy bit. Why don't, why don't we have two range swords? Just a single light brand, please. Uh, you could do the tower manip to get just like a wind sword you can get, right? Or rune sword? Yeah, there's a... Um, whenever you enter the tower, there's like a non-zero percent chance that a... Um, there'd be a skeleton in the very top left. With well, I believe sword. there's a like pretty easy to hit RN string for it as well. Oh, he's almost completely kept out. He just needs to cap HP now. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, never mind. Should have reached it anyways. <laughs> you were gonna copy him those boots till the I end sure of your was. day. I sure was. There we go. Yo, level five paladin. She gets pivot or something now, thinking, right? I keep thinking she's gonna get strength <laughs> or defense. I mean, she did get strength. She <laughs> she's actually recovering her speed, though. Is the funny thing? Yeah, she's actually. Oh, I forgot her speed got hit by it. That's why she only has ten. Yeah, her speed. speed got hit down to zero. Remember? I forgot about she that. She had zero speed and capped con. <laughs> Just, just to show the people who say like I'm um, actually con is just as important. As I'm always afraid to join either side of that argument because I'm on the side of, like, it's cool to have, but not super important. But I feel like no matter how I word it, I either get put in the camp of not thinking con matters at all or thinking con's more important than speed. I can't believe you think constitution is the most important stat <laughs> in the entire game. <laughs> of course it is. It lets you take drop people in Thracia easier. Ow. Marty fans rejoice. All 17 build. Oh, hi. What do you mean 17 build? Are you uh, not trading build. him to 20? <laughs> <laughs> I meant to say his starting build, but you know what? I like that answer more. <laughs> you say train him to 20 build. I feel like that's something you don't train for. It just kind of happens. Yeah. Yeah. Because I think it's, it's like... Uh... It's like a 70% growth rate or something stupid. Yeah, I think it's like 15 based on 75 growth or something with a cap of 20. The only thing that like, my only take on the speed versus build thing is like, I use it to point out, I'm, I'm famously, and I'm not the only person who says this, but I feel like I am the only YouTuber who says this. Lapis and Diamond are the same unit in Engage, and people get really mad when I say that, no matter how many times I explain that it's like, their personal bases, or their personal stats and personal growths are nearly identical, and they're both units who want to reclass out into functionally the same stuff. They want to reclass the Wyverns and stuff. And people get all hung up about, like, Lapis technically has higher speed, but Diamond has higher build or whatever, and I'm like, it's functionally the same. Like they're the, you do the math of them together and it ends up the same. So I guess my my thing about speed versus build is like you do the whole picture. Yeah. You can't just say this person has high build, therefore they're fast. This person has high speed, therefore they're fast. You have to say like what is this person's build versus their average weapon rate mm -hmm. versus what their speed is. And, and that's like how in fast a game like are. Engage, where silvers are super heavy, I do think that you kind of just always factor in them both. Um, but in a game like like Tellius is the other big one that comes up because Soren versus Iliana. Yeah. Um. And like, books are not that heavy in Tellius. Nah, they're just so like Iliana just usually ends up being slower. You see, that's where you're wrong. So, uh, Ileana ends up faster because I don't train Sorin. 
See, Khalil ends up fastest because I don't train either of them. <laughs> you see, Bastion ends up fastest because I gave him the a band that improves speed. I don't know what names they have. I gave him like the Night Ward. I gave him the Sword Band and gave him five percent extra speed growth. I reclassed Bastion into Swordmaster and put him into FE6. <laughs> Yo! Good unit! I love the Nami Bishop palette. It's so good. I know, it looks so nice. I think this is mostly in the bag. How do you guys break this turn? I feel like there's still in one more Erica of... gets like 1% crit because you have the Hoplon Guard on the unit with nearly capped luck. I feel like there's like one more wave of spiders I have to deal with here in a sec. At least the spiders are not ambush spawns, though. Like, the gorgons are. Yeah, the gorgons are basically ambush spawns. Yeah, I say ambush spawns. They obviously, you know where they're going to be, so it's not, like, so much an ambush, but they are, like... <laughs> it's an ambush spawn you can see. <laughs> yeah. Which, I'll take over a regular ambush spawn every day, but it's still not ideal. Mm-hmm. Well, of course you like ambush spawns, you can see. You're a Gaiden fan. <laughs> Isn't that what yeah. people say about the, like, the two paladins? Yes, I will take one more um, cavalier in the top left corner of the screen, please. <laughs> Gaiden map design moment. Oh, there they are. Yep, you were correct. Oh, wait, there's, there's the spiders. Hi. Well, this one worked. <laughs> okay, there he is. There he is. Okay. There he is. Well, this one worked. Uh, hi. <laughs> yeah, there's the second one. Nice to meet you. <laughs> this was the anti-turtle incentive. <laughs> Surprise, bitch. The map's not over yet. His inventory was supposed... That was supposed to be his inventory in both of them. Oh, it was a hammer, not a halberd. I thought it was a halberd. Hammer. Um, Just for taking care. So... Of, in case you had kill him, one, kill him, kill him. Five. So you can stand here and do this. Stay far away, Amelia. <laughs> well, <laughs> this has got a little dicey. No, bad level up. <laughs> yeah, I think we can handle the spiders, says Jacob, while Danny just sits there patiently waiting. Huh. <laughs> that is definitely a forecast. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you're getting those eggs, dude. <laughs> those eggs are unbreakable. I'm more upset that if I want to enemy face this with Axe Reaver, I'm eating Axe Reaver uses on YouTube. <laughs> okay, never mind. We can just reg and leaf and live. Are you two supporting? You are. Erica needs to get out of there. Like, no, yeah, she Erica needs to get out. To Garcia, oh. Even an unpromoted one. Yeah, Erica I needs to get that out. I understand why he ended up as fighter because he uses his default class as a reinforcement. Um, but I am sad that he was still a fighter. Um, his stats being capped are your fault, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It carried those like, over. They just it got still carried that it. part over. Yeah, because the luck is still twenty-seven too. Let's see. The game remembers. Garcia remembers. Garcia will remember that. <laughs> okay. The, can... Garcia is actually like Ashura. He won't die until you get a silence or crit on him. So, I think we can like Axe Reaver here and then like trade something else so I don't break the Axe Reaver on you two. Okay. And then we'll like Kanto far away. Get the 1% crit. This way we can do a little bit of work while we have, um, what's it called? While we have Erica support. <laughs> Although, do I really, I really don't want to Do you want to, do you want to hit, do you want to eat a hit from Garm or the Brave Axe? Like, oh, he takes like five, nine damage twice from the Brave Axe. Oh, that's sad. I should have made Garm brave. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six. I cannot remember if this has stone. I might be in trouble. We've got trouble. Because one, two, whoa, three, four, whoa. five, six. One, two, three. Wait, can Garcia reach uh, 
can Garcia reach? No, we can't. Yeah, not if quite. If you can rescue, if you can, like, do you have the rescue staff? I do have the rescue. Do I? If I have it, it's on Sale. Nope, I forgot to put it on Sale. Oopsie daisies. Okay, I was gonna say you can, like, rescue one of your flyers up and destroy that, but you can't actually. Oh, wait! He can reach with the, uh. Because she only has seven moves. Oh, wait, he has five moves. That's right. So I could just run all the way over here and I'm safe. Like that. Yeah. Eh, that's great. Are you going to leave the Axe Reaver equipped just to be safe? Uh, we're going to leave Axe Reaver. He's probably going to go I for think terrain that's anyways, safest. but... He's going to kill himself with the hatchet. <laughs> Finally. There we go. <laughs> um, The scary part... I don't know what this has. But one of them has stone, you said, we're right? Do this. I don't remember if it has stone. Because if it has stone, I might be in trouble. Because the stone can exactly... Actually, the Gorgon might go first. And they can't stand here. A lot of ifs. Uh, Cormac, go catch up. Show everyone why you're a good unit. Now, the speed on Cormag is the one thing I will not complain about being low, because I did that to him. So I will make sure that if I ever get upset about Cormag, it is not over his speed. I'm very proud of your character growth. I can recognize that that was my mistake. Or not mistake, a uh, very well thought out decision. No, no, it was a mistake. It's actually <laughs> a mistake not to give literally every stat boost to Cormag. You should have given him the boost. I keep seeing Biggle and I keep going, oh, I still need to move you. And then I remember he's not playable. We're going to put that just for the extra res, just in case there's a shadow shot nearby. We don't want a physic. So if you... Oh, that might be sketch. I want you gone. One less I have to deal with. I think the top right guy has an axe reader. Not Hot Slayer, that's what it is. That's fine, we can deal with that. You go there... I mean, he'll deal effective damage to Ephraim, aren't you scared? Very. Mend you up. I do think the only threat to Ephraim is getting stonered. Yeah, I think just getting hit with stone is like the one thing that could possibly go wrong. Oh, I guess I don't need to do that from there. I can do that from like... Way over. I can do that from over here. I don't have Sealer inventory up. slots to give her, uh, like, all the things she wants. What is this? Two milkmen go comedy? True. I mean, if you think about it, this is Team GC in, like, its first form, right? This is basically, like, 0. 0.0000001, right? Because <laughs> it's built off of an FEA ROM. Well, but that would make this... Wait, what? I'm we're not, not sure I understand, actually. Because we're not at version uh, 1.0 yet. Because that's going to be like... Oh, you have Shadow Shot. I think Ross is big. Uh, Ross, are you going to be okay? I'll just dodge. It's the Biggle. Do -do -do. Oh my goodness. Just Don't dodge. stress me out like that, boy. Hey, Don't you remember, stress me out. Remember all those times I missed the 45 against Garcia with Purge? <laughs> that's the payoff. Badoosh. <laughs> I can't axe believe you're reaver. wasting these Axe Reaver uses. Yeah. Should can't you buy Reaver weapons? No, it's only on the map. It's only on the map. And instead yeah. of buying Reaver weapons, I elected to steal a Draco Shield that I did not give anyone in preps. You should have given it to Amelia <laughs> so she could live a hit. I thought about it as like a funny joke to be like, look, I'm doubling her bulk because she has two defense and the Draco Shield will give her two more. Hey, we saw the payoff of doubling... Um, Vanessa's growth rate. Honestly, though, you're on to something. Okay, so now he has a hatchet equipped. Uh-oh. It's a good thing we got on Holma for that five res. <laughs> I mean, we would have taken 11 damage, which would be pretty scary. Yeah. Ow. Look, if we were taking 11 damage and the eyeball got a 0% crit, we would die. Okay, that is significantly less scary now. 
What has he got equipped now? The hatchet? <laughs> yeah, that's a lot less scary. Okay. I feel like you Somebody... still just... Wait, you double? Do you really lose speed from the Axe Reaver? Wow, you lose one speed from the Axe Reaver, and it's just enough. Huh. Nice. Damn. Fighter class caps. I mean, I guess it's just unpromoted <laughs> class caps. <laughs> I was going to say, it's just promo class caps. If we miss one of these, it's going to be a little sketch. Ow. I was really hoping that would backfire. Me too. <laughs> I have to watch him die again. <laughs> <laughs> I live my life. I have no regrets. <laughs> Garcia, shadows die twice. <laughs> uh, now we have more Gorgons to deal with. Um just out of range. <laughs> so that's your Garcia permanently gone. <laughs> it was fun while it lasted. Ross is going to have to pick up the handle on his own. Pick up the axe handle on his own? Well, I mean, he is an axe unit. But I just more meant like, like he's going to have to like take the reins. Take his, take his sweet time. Oh, you do have stone, because you have everything. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't like you being oh alive boy. anymore. <laughs> Fun of the, oh, wait, two more about to show up. Oh, God, oh what boy. I would, society, if you Are had they a also all going to have everything? Probably. Imagine a society where you had, like, at least one purge and bolting by this point, instead of waiting until the next map to give you siege weapons. I mean, you did have at least one purge. I did. You just threw it away. I just Garcia. used it on the scariest you enemy in the game. Be, you used to kill your own unit. <sighs> I kind of want to... I mean, the best, the best part is that, like, you could have just not trained Garcia. I could have just not trained Garcia. But where's the fun in that? I mean, the other question is if you haven't trained Garcia, how are you? How did you beat Joshua's bolting? Yeah, there? how was I gonna like beat the rest of the game? <laughs> <laughs> Look what I have to work with. I have like this. <laughs> I have this. <laughs> Wait, can I see Vanessa versus Cyrene again? Uh, probably not a good idea. So 13, 15, 10. 13, 15, 10. 13, 15, 10. <laughs> That's actually upsetting. And they both have 27. Okay, I gave you a robe. I remember I gave you an angel robe, but. That's so funny. That's really funny. Uh, what's not funny is I don't know how I'm doing with this. Um... I think a full on tactical retreat. Yeah, I think we have to tactically retreat. Does. Oh, no, he has 23 res. He has 23 res. That was about to be a really stupid question. What? I was about to ask does E frame live, but. 23 res, 23 defense. He's capped basically everything. Yeah. His bulk caps in that class are a little bit pathetic, I feel like. Yeah, I guess. Like, maybe it's just me. I feel like three above unpromoted is, like, sad. I guess he's just, like, really offensive. Like, 27 is a pretty high strength cap. Like, what other, it is. What other it is, classes yeah. have 27 strength? Like, heroes have 25. Mend up. I swear Joshua will be really good at some point. Me when I lie. <laughs> Lied as naturally as he breathed. Is that a is that a Star Wars thing? Nah, it's a. I'll have to send the image to you. From a manga. Okay. Oh well, that explains why I don't recognize it. I've seen it as a reaction image for a lot of stuff, so I keep it just in case I need it. Well, that's big. Oh range. yeah. No, there's definitely things that, like, I recognize just because I've seen as, like, the, like, the reaction image or whatever. Yeah. Ooh. Do I have anyone who's, like, decent res that I could throw up here to at least, like, kill one of these guys that doesn't just die? So assuming they have the other... Like, assuming both of them have the same stats, even the same weapons. They both have at least Demon Surge, I'm guessing, because I think all of them have Demon Surge, except for, like, one or two. Just 33 might. Like, nothing's living to Demon Surges. Oh, well. 
Oh, that, that button does not work. We will patch you up. Let's see what happens. I don't know. Over here. Odd Holma for the res. Okay, so you can only reach down here. So I guess if we want. You realize to... that as you break Shadow Shot, though, you get more and more likely that she's just a good stone. Yes. Like, while you have people in Shadow Shot range, she's not gonna stone Ephraim. But that'll be later's problem. Speaking of later's problem, aren't those two eggs gonna hatch next turn? Yep. Later is next turn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you think they also have all three? Uh, probably. <laughs> so, um, so how are Amelia and Erica getting out of this? Uh, that's the neat part. They aren't. <laughs> so you're just gonna move on without your game over conditions? There we go, we're gonna do it like that. Woo! Ah. Okay, maybe one of them will yup. Eight percent At least at least it's only an eight percent hit chance, but okay. like God, the animation is so long too. Yeah. I'm I'm anxious. I'm anxious. Wait, Ross is dead if he gets hit by both yeah. of these, right? He has to win at least one coin toss. Assuming they both well, have Shadow Shot, which they probably one. do. What? Oh, do you just like... I guess you just decided to not. Okay. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Kill the Shadow Shot one. Yeah, Shadow Shot Keep needs to go down. Cross alive. Shadow Shot. Use my infinite... Wait! Use... Yo, <laughs> you're gonna muse up your fucking Wretched Leaf uses! I might need them later. You're wasting it! It's not even effective damage! Ooh. See, you got a bad level up as punishment, by the way. Meow. Look, see, zero damage. We'll live. And you just have Demon Surgeon Stone. So what we can do is patch you back up. Wait, where's Josh? Oh, you can't reach. Josh, why can't you be a good unit, please? Mend up. What is Sally at right now for ranks? I think he's at B stabs? B for best boy. Oh, he's at, oh, he's at S light. We have Evaldi Sale. Why have you been trading his light rank? Because he can't... Cause Devil, devil magic, <laughs> devil animatomes. <laughs> I can't believe you don't want to deal with the devil magic, the fun devil magic. Okay, I think we garm you because one shadow shot doesn't kill any of my units. Yeah. Okay, so this is safe, which they're probably gonna go for stone anyways. In Yo. before they go for stone and somehow the fire tile crit kills. I was thinking that, but surely not. How much attack do you have? 30 well, then, uh, attack. When the fire tile kills, it makes the crit noise, which always tricks me into thinking it crit, but I don't think it actually can crit. I yeah, think that's I think just it just incredible. plays the sound and it messes with me because I'm like, oh god, the, the tile can crit. I it's a good thing it conveniently only crits when it would have killed my units anyway. Yo, epic, um... What is it? TRS Lethality? Is that which one it is? <laughs> uh, well, not quite, but you've got the general idea, yeah. It's Could... like, Lethality is a kill, but only if a crit would have killed. It's something like, if you attack it melee, you have like, a skill something percent chance to uh, kill but only if a crit would have killed yeah yeah and it's, also they have to be able to counter attack it's kind of so sort it doesn't just work a, on archers it's just basically a boosted crit rate at that point against enemies where a crit would kill yeah um yeah it's pretty bad it's pretty bad and the thing is whenever i say it's bad the response is like well it's better than not having it which is like true of everything though <laughs> like there are very few skills that are only detrimental. 
Uh oh. Demon like, I guess surge. rivalry in Pokemon. What does that do? Oh, do you not know about rivalry? It's actually really sad. Oh. So if your Pokemon is the same gender as the uh, as the opponent's Pokemon, your attacks do 25% more damage. But if it's the opposite gender, they do 25% less. Um, and it sounds like a trade-off, but in reality, uh, especially for the Pokemon who get it, oftentimes they hit the one-shotting thresholds without it and it will take away one thought it shotting thresholds like haxorus is the big one in black and white in black and white and black and white 2 uh a rivalry haxorus will miss some one slotting thresholds but does not gain any oh so it's just bad it's just bad yeah it's basically just bad um rivalry is very <laughs> sad <laughs> Speaking of just bad, Inez. I forgot about that. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> 16%. Amelia, <laughs> <laughs> take us home. Why don't you double? Oh, that's right, because your speed is bad. <laughs> just... But her con is good, Jacob. Her con is good. Look, th this is what... Th this is us fixing Isadora, because now she has good con. I think we already made that joke, actually, now that I think about it. Oh, God, it's him. fixed Isadora in Fire Emblem 8. Only for Game Boy Advance. Only on Game Boy Advance. Q peak writing. Anyway, speaking of uh, a problem for later, I'm excited for this next map. I don't have Garcia anymore. How am I supposed... Who's the second... Oh, it's Seth. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, why do I have two snipers here? <laughs> I forgot Sensors at the cutscenes. <laughs> oh, Bye. We'll see you soon. Bye.